Oh god, guys, there he is. He's 25 yards away. I'm gonna zero in for 20 this time. And hold it right behind that front shoulder. But it all came down to this moment right here. He's 25 yards away. Welcome back to Mexico. This is my first time playing this map in about 10 days now. I've been traveling nonstop, uh, trying to find a new place to live, and I finally did find a place, which was awesome. But something even more crazy happened right after that. Well, a lot of you guys were here, but if you weren't here, I'm definitely gonna show you exactly what happened. So first off, we started seeing a ton of small bucks and does, and honestly, we didn't even shoot anything for the first like 15 or 20 minutes because there was nothing even impressive enough to take a shot at. Basically, what we're trying to do is take down all the max weight bucks first, and if we don't see anything big enough, then we take down the second biggest bucks. And then after that, we go and try and take down the third biggest bucks. And basically, sometimes we even take down the does if there are a lot of does in the area. For instance, this spot here has a ton of does here. So if you came here two days ago, you would see about 15 does here. There was about 10 does here and then five does over here. So I came back here and started just unloading on all these does here. And eventually what happened was we were able to eventually get some bucks to come back. And we came here yesterday and finally we did get a buck and the buck that we saw was a max weight buck so that was kind of the start to this but like i said before the very first 15 minutes we went around to three different spots and all we saw was small bucks and does we decided to check out a couple of spots that we haven't really hunted yet because for the past few days before i left i only really hunted these three lakes here we're talking cerros del espinazo laos martyrs and la hacienda literally i've only hunted these three lakes for the past three days straight before i left for texas and then i got this idea we should probably try and find a couple more spots so then we went over here to the great lakes and then well we found something pretty special Oh, that's a big buck. That is a dime potential right there. 245 minimum. Wow. Let's see if we can't take him. Wait, is that him? I don't think so. I think that's a different buck. Because that's like a 230s. There he is. Okay. Well, we just might go for this, guys. He's sitting there at about 60. And honestly, we can zero in for 60 and... Pretty much let one fly. The only thing is, we got a bit of a crosswind here. I mean, we're gonna have to hold like on the front of that shoulder and we still might get liver. So uh, I kinda wanna try and slide over a little bit more to be able to compensate for that. And uh, we'll zero in for, I think we'll zero in for 60 still because it's about what he's at. But then again, he might be a little bit closer once we get on top of this rock here. Let me just double check real quick. Okay, yeah, he's about 60. I think if we held for 60 right on that front shoulder, we should be able to make this happen. Right in that pocket right there. Oh, smoked him. He's down. Now, honestly, the wind didn't push it as much as I thought it was going to. <laughs> like it hit pretty much exactly where I aimed. Luckily I didn't hold too far forward because if we did, <laughs> that would have been a bad shot. That would have been straight to the shoulder blade and we wouldn't have got that buck. But we did, so that's awesome. 261? Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, the fact that he's a level two and he had such a high estimate, I'm thinking he's gonna be like 258 probably. Definitely looks like we made an awesome shot. Tucked it right on the edge of that shoulder blade there. But honestly, I kind of figured we hit somewhere around like where the F is there. Because we did have a strong wind and 60 plus yards is quite a ways for a bow. But um, obviously we can't get a picture. Let's pick him up and see what he's going to be. Oh wow, someone called that. I think uh, Alaskan called that or something like that. Somebody did 251. Man. He's a massive buck, but not even close to a diamond. So right after that, we decided to go to another location called Ghost Lake, where I've never actually hunted it before, but I have watched Scarecrow take down quite a few whitetail over there. So I knew that there was definitely whitetail in that area. And if you're wondering, this is the area that I'm talking about. 
I do believe Lady Legend calls this Ghost Lake because it's shaped like a ghost from Ghostbusters. Um, you can see the bottom of the ghost here and the head here and the arms here. So this is Ghost Lake. Now, before last night, we've never hunted this lake at all. Anyways, this is what happens in this lake. Oh, there we go. That's... Oh my god. 307? Are you kidding me? That's for sure the biggest diamond that I've seen on this map. Maybe the biggest diamond that I've seen this year. He's literally a guaranteed diamond. Like 100% diamond. Wow. Yeah, it don't get much bigger than that. Okay, we're gonna try and get him. <laughs> He's huge. Comic, you must be good luck. Cause literally you came in here and we got a massive diamond potential buck. He's not even diamond potential, he's a guaranteed diamond. 266, I've never even seen a buck with an estimate like that. Oh my God. Guaranteed diamond. Irish is calling 274. We're gonna try and work our way over here. Just look at him. Oh my God. He's incredible. And he's in a lot of brush too. That's money. Thank you so much. Wow. What happened now? Hello, Bethan. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Someone said 307. Oh yeah, I know. The estimate, it went to 307. <laughs> Dear Slayer, I think he's a 281. I mean, if he goes over 280, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Like crazy. Look at him now. There he is right there. I mean, if he has mass on both sides, he has a chance at making 280. But if I had to guess, I would say two. Oh my God. I would say 276 if I had to guess. That would be my guess. I don't really know what we're going to do though. Because if we go that way, we're going to have a really, really bad wind. But then again, the wind might actually shift. Wow, look how wide he is. Like, literally, look how wide that thing is. When he picks up his head. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he's like a mini great one, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, probably, Jacob. We're probably going to take him with the bow. Just because we don't have a shot and he's so, so big. I mean, we were about to take down, what is it, that one? I think that one. No, not even. Um, we don't have a ton of time, so I really don't wanna. Tell me it's okay, I think it says 11.30? Yeah, okay, we got uh, a little bit of time. So we're gonna take our time here. He's an incredible buck. An incredible buck. Guaranteed going to the trophy lodge. So I really want to take our time and try and get in position on him to make a nice shot. And I don't think he's going to come out to the call. He's right. He's like right there. Yeah, he's right there. See, he's 87 yards. <laughs> Rebecca, he's immense. He really is. He's so special. Ooh. Hey, Lily, welcome. I'm glad. Um, yeah, this is a pretty special moment right here. I'm thinking That's we might be able so to much. stay prone and get to this rock if we can. It would literally be kind of amazing. I think we might. Okay, we made it up the rock. We're not going to have a ton of cover, but we definitely have a little bit of cover. 
Maybe we'll stay kind of behind this rock here. Holy. I just can't get over looking at this thing. Every time I spot him, like the outline of him is just so incredible. There he is right there, 70 yards away. Wow. If he steps out at 60, I'll take that shot all day long. Ooh, he's 50 yards, guys. I think I'm gonna take that shot. If I hold right tight for that tree, we should be able to get a single lung. Man. I'll hold a little bit high. Oh, I think we smoked him. How far was that shot? 50. 52. It should have been a good shot. It really should have been a perfect shot. I mean, considering the wind and everything, I don't know. Either way. I mean, we've had some huge diamonds. I thought it'd be really cool to take a far shot. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta take the shots. Where was he standing though? Where did we hit him? Literally the biggest dime potential white tail I've ever seen. Oh, I think we dropped low. I mean, I can't really see the arrow, but... He's just incredible looking though. Look at that thing. I would say... 274? 273? I mean, either way, we're gonna mount him. It's not like we haven't had a diamond white tail, but... This will probably be our biggest white tail that didn't make diamond in Mexico. Because I messed it up. Well, let's pick it up and find out how much I messed it up. Oh, 275. You gotta be kidding me. So you're gonna tell me when we're zeroed in for 66 and I hit the spine and now we're zeroed in for 44 and I'm holding for the spine and we just barely missed the bottom of the heart. We got so robbed. Like, it's not even funny. But he weighed 218 pounds. We literally, if we had an expandable broadhead, the blade probably would have ripped open the bottom of the heart right there. There was a ton of white tail there. Now, I know we didn't make a perfect shot, but if you saw before, we took a shot at 60 yards on that uh, buck in the very beginning, that big level two. We actually hit high, like super high. I was zeroed in for 66 and the buck was about 59 yards and we almost hit it in the vertebrae. So in this case here, when we snuck up to that buck, we had him at 50 yards because we don't have a 50 yard pin. We had to either choose the 40 or the 60 and I chose the 40. And I held for the spine for 40, which should have been about 50, but we got a ton of drop and it dropped right below the heart. So at this point, I decided to go over to La Hacienda just because I haven't been there in a while and I knew that we definitely needed to go over there and take down some more white tail bucks. I have had a bunch of white tail bucks here, so I figured we'd go to this tent, head up to this tripod and take them down really quickly. So just like that, this spot went from super crappy to amazing. Yeah, because last time we were here, we took down like a small one trivial and then a small two over here. But now we have two very impressive bucks. And luckily, we have a tripod here so we can take them down. For sure, take that one. And that one's going to be a bit of a tough shot, but that one's going to be bigger anyways. Let me uh, get a range on them quick. 260. Perfect shot on him. And we got him too. Just barely in the nick of time. Another buck there. But we definitely got the two big ones down. Where's that buck going? Nowhere. That's where he's going. Actually, he's going somewhere. 
Holy! Smoked him the second shot. I really want to get this buck here now. But the wobble is real. Whew! We definitely got him. I mean, that's another good buck, but we already took down two. I don't know how we dropped that buck either, but right in the back of the neck. Hey, you made it. War of the Outdoors. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No! <laughs> we found the great one. I was looking at his rack and I'm like, that's a big buck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We found him. Such a random spot. Like, I don't even remember taking a shot at a buck here in, in a long time. 214 to 242 pound level 10 fabled great one is located right in front of us right now. Wow. Where? 385 to 455 on the estimate on him and he is right over here right over there we are way over here so now I don't even have a zone here 11 o'clock looks like we don't have a ton of time it really does but um, we're gonna take our time and work our way over there. <laughs> Thank you, lady. I, uh, I guess people are right. You know, when when you see them, you can't really expect it. It just, it just happens. Such a random spot, too. I gotta turn this volume down here. I can't even believe that we found this. Jeez. Look at that. We got doe, 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 and massive, massive buck. Wow, he's got a sweet rack, too. Bad, bad wind. I come back to this. Holy Jesus. I know, William, right? I know. <laughs> oh, definitely Irish. Like, you have no clue. I mean, yeah, you do, but... This is just, it was so unexpected. Like we're in a spot where I never would have guessed in a million years that he'd be in this spot. I mean, I haven't even taken down level three in this spot. But what I do know is that, uh, We're not super far away. We're about a mile away from where we took down that max weight level three. We're only about a mile away, so we're not super far away. Thank you, Audra. Yeah, we're gonna take our time. I'm gonna follow him. Like, obviously, if he's done drinking, then um, we're gonna have to follow him to his eating zone and we'll probably sneak up on him and take him, you know, if he's eating or resting or whatever he's doing after that. Cause I honestly don't know That's how long he's gonna be there so for. Much. But there he is right there. Oh man, that rack. No, no, no way. <gasps> That's money, thank you so much. We found him. He's bedded right there. 
It literally couldn't have worked out any more perfect. We tracked him right to the coolest location ever. And we found him bedded 80 yards away. Oh my God. Everything led up to this moment right here, guys. Holy. And he's actually quartering away perfectly. Like we could center him and hit liver and double lung all day long. And that's exactly what we want. We're not even going to think about trying to call on this buck. We're going to spot and stalk him. That's exactly what we're going to do. Work our way right down this ridge here. Coming right through that little, little tunnel there. Maybe pop up right in this brush here by this cactus. Should be about 40 yards and perfectly broadside. Wow. We are 48 yards away, guys. And this cactus right here is pretty much where I wanted to get to. Because if you look right there, I can guarantee you that's where he's at. Right behind that brush. So we got to get some cover, though. Because I don't want to stand up without full cover. The doe right there. Oh my god, I thought that was him. Oh! Oh! I mean, they're all coming in. Unfortunately, he never did come in. And what I think happened is he actually got up from his bed and decided to go eat something somewhere else. So we got to get back on his track and see if we can't figure out where he went. Where was that? That is a rare hen pheasant. Looks like an albino or something. But um, where was that buck that I saw? And this is basically what we've been doing this whole time is staying on the doe tracks. We're not picking up the doe tracks, but we're staying on the doe tracks. Because the Great One track is very hard to find sometimes. And eventually, once we track down the doe, we find the Great One track. Just like that. We tracked him for a pretty good ways, at least like a mile and a half. And then, we finally found him. This is not happening. We found him. I can't believe it. We finally have eyes on him. We're 40 yards away from a great one. I can see his rack right there. He's right there. Okay, now we just got to slide over. And keep eyes on that location. No! He's 25 yards away. I can't see his rack. Which is a little unfortunate. But you know what? I want to take that shot so bad. I mean, we could probably try and slide over a little bit more, but it's kind of risky. <gasps> Get off the track. Oh God, guys, there he is. He's 25 yards away. I'm going to zero in for 20 this time. And hold it right behind that front shoulder. But it all came down to this moment right here. He's 25 yards away. <gasps> Thank you. I mean, I know we could have taken an awesome shot, but now we can see just how incredible this buck is. We got plenty of time to be able to make a move here. If we have to, I can get a single lung for sure. Hold it right on that front shoulder. But there he is. I can't believe we got so close to this thing. 
kind of want to try and take a picture of him. I'm not going to take a picture because I don't want to risk spooking him. But if we wanted to, we could. Let's just say that. Okay, so 25 yards away. He's quartering at us a little bit. We're zeroing for 20. I think I'm going to draw back and then step out just a little bit. He's down. He's down. A perfect shot. And the great one hits the ground. Oh my god. <gasps> I just, I am totally speechless at this point. What a phenomenal rack. Holy. One of the coolest looking racks on a whitetail that I've ever seen in Call of the Wild right here. He's down, an absolute perfect shot. And what a magnificent buck. And such an awesome picture too. We've been tracking this thing for almost three and a half hours now. And he's a great one, a 416 one. score. So Holy, we double lunged him at 27 yards out. What an awesome rack on him. He weighed 230 pounds. No. No way. Oh my God. Perfect shot right behind that front shoulder there. We snuck out a little bit and caught the back of that back lung there. Centered the first lung perfectly. Oh my God, he's giant. He's so cool. He's absolutely perfect. Look at the stickers on that thing. Oh my God. That's money. Thank you so much. That's money. Thank you so much. 416 score. Level 10 fabled. What a rack. Oh my god. And we got him mounted. We got him mounted. Alright guys, I really appreciate you guys all being here. Sorry for keeping you guys up so long. Um, but, you know, like I said before, when you get an opportunity, you can do what you want. You can just snipe it. You can sneak up on him with a bow. You can use buckshot. You can use a 357. You can use an air rifle. Whatever you want. But the point is, you put so much time and dedication into this that you should be able to do what you want and be able to hunt it the way that you want. Because you're only gonna get one try. Well, most of us at least, unless you're grim. <laughs> then you'll probably get like, you know, five or six or maybe more. But um, That's money. Thank you so much. yeah, it, uh, it can happen. It can happen. And in case you're wondering how many white tail it took to That's get to money. this one, Thank you so much. I didn't count exactly, but there's no way we took 500 white tail. If I had to guess, I would say like 440, pretty much about 440. And this spot, I never even hunted a level five or not a level five, um, 
a level three white tail. I've never even seen a level three white tail in this spot before. So that goes to show you that pretty much it could be anywhere. What I do know though, is we just got a massive diamond potential white tail not too long ago, which was a max diamond. He just uh, didn't make it because we dropped a little bit low. But right after that, maybe like two times after that, you know, two more um, resets, and then that's when we saw this guy. <laughs> and uh, we didn't get him right away. Let's just say it was tough. I mean, you can't tell the tracking distance here because we reset the time. But how do we not reset the time? It would probably say like 2.5 miles, to be honest. It probably would. So, um,. Yeah, it can happen. It definitely can. That's money. Thank and here you, so you can much. see. He's a great one. Before we go back to the trophy lodge, I want to thank every single person that was here last night during the stream. And so many people were here literally like the entire time. I'm going to try and remember as many people as I can. And if I didn't say your name, it doesn't mean that I don't remember you and I'm not grateful for you. It just means that there's a lot of people there. At one point, there was 800 people there, which I think that's the most we've ever had in a live stream since the beginning of streaming. So first off, thank you so much, Flinter, for being there. It was really amazing. And honestly, the luck and the um, positive attitude and everything that you have with the community is just it's unbelievable. So thank you for being there. I also want to thank Kyla. Thank you so much for being here. It was amazing. You gave me such a warm welcoming um, to Texas. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much, Lady Legend. Same thing with you. I mean, the positive energy is just, it's so hard to compare any single person to what you do. Scarecrow, thank you for being here as well. It means a lot. And thanks so much for the help and the, um, I guess the strategies on what we should do to be able to potentially get the great one to come back. Thank you, Sled Junkie. Thank you, Rebecca, Zach Ruda, Corpse Kill Gaming, Grim the Great One. Thank you, Comic Book Guy, Drew, Lucky, Winter Moose, Irish, HC, Timothy Davis, Tony, Big Game Hunting, EH19, A Sippy, Ethan, Aaron, Piggy Wellness, Zach Ruda, uh, Logan, and then we have um, Comic Book Guy, Tanner Us, Blind Toad, um, Giancarlo, The Mr. G Dog, Aya. The Only, Alera, Mars, Sario, Riley Dunmore, Nathan Fletcher, Blazing Rifles, Deadshot, Helen, Alpha, The Hunter, Ian, Ricky Taylor, Seth Weinrich, Silvera, HC, The Only, Lara, Mars, Riley Dunmore, Nathan Fletcher, Blazing Rifles, Helen Vandercourt, um, Alpha, The Hunter, Ian, Ricky Taylor, Seth Weinrich, Silvera, HC, Xander, Greg, we got Kinsko, Jana, Austin, Ed, Hunter, Bowen, Whitetail Slayer, Robert Flint, Branson, Shirley Jester, Mullet, Jester Suds, Ace, TTR, All American Sheds, The Hunter Ian, Snakehead, Jonathan, Ty Campbell, Brent, and Ed Kiefer. Oh, and also Zaggy did stop by as well. So thank you so much for stopping by, Zaggy. That was nice of you. And yeah, everybody that was there, it really means the world to me. So thank you. <laughs> Look at that. 416.01. And the great one icon. <laughs> there he is. What a majestic buck. And I think I like him like that, actually. Yeah, just like that. It's like this thing's a myth, you know? He's kind of a legend. He basically is. Because you hear so stories much. about him. And you hear that people see him or get him. But you don't think you'll ever see him. You know, he's like the 30-pointer. Yeah, there might be one out there somewhere. And there's a good chance there is one somewhere. But one in, like, how many, you know, millions? So basically what you're looking at is some pretty low odds to be able to get one of these guys here. But he is definitely a myth and a legend. And not only that, he is in our trophy lodge. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and good luck out there trying to get a great one. Because they definitely do exist.